The 2022.3 version of SA offers some really nice improvements for ARM users. And the first of those is uh, for the RDS8 ARM from Hexagon. Well, one of the things that we couldn't do in the prior version was simply press the scanner button and have it automatically change. Before you had to navigate the wrist display, now you can just simply push the button. Uh, we also added direct access to the ARM settings from the toolbar. So from the toolbar, you can come in and access any of the settings you want. So those are just a couple of little tricks. Um, but the big thing that has changed is the cloud display itself. So if you just start scanning, let me scan a little bit here. There you go. So as you see, the scan itself is now uh, coming in using a real-time mesh. And this is something we've had before, but it's actually improved quite a bit in a very particular way. And that is the fact that the mesh is incorporated in the tree as part of the cloud itself as a display property. So you can go to the properties of the cloud and immediately be able to access the display settings. And here you can either turn off the mesh or turn it on. You can see the advantage of using a real-time mesh for visualization. You can also turn on the boundary points, which define the edges of the scan. And um, now these are all incorporated directly into the cloud itself. Another thing that's kind of neat is that you can open an older file and simply regenerate a mesh for display purposes. So this is something that uh, helps quite a bit. Another thing is you'll notice that there are two colors. There are yellow as well as the green. And the yellow defines um, measurements at a very sharp angle. So I didn't tilt the head of the scanner far enough to, to detect this, uh, so it's turned yellow. And those settings, everything for enabling the real-time mesh is under the user options. And you go under display, cloud, and mesh. And then here you can enable the real-time meshing. And this dialog is pretty simple. You can hit fast or standard, which are two presets. Or you simply enter the smallest hole diameter that you're trying to detect. And it'll fill out all the values for you. Again, I mentioned the angle filter. And you have a refresh rate. So these are some nice things that were added as part of this uh, cloud uh, improvements. One more thing that's actually quite nice is we have incorporated a real-time drift check. So if I were to move this part and then go ahead and rescan, you immediately get a warning message. And the idea is that if you have bumped the part and you uh, run into a problem, it'll tell you. It'll, it'll light it up and let you know. And if you want to, you can immediately jump instrument and separate that new data from the old and realign. Um, this is a, an option for you, which brings up the jump instrument. And you can get those pieces split out. So we now have two instruments. You have two clouds split out, and you're ready to remeasure. So this is a real advantage for uh, consistency and reliability, all in the 2022.3 version.